And in terms of the first thing that you're meant to do is type Math Genie into the search bar. You can see that it is the first thing that comes up. A lot of students use Math Genie and it's something that I recommend you use just by itself. And I had to do a re-recording, that's why um, these two tabs already are in purple because I had to go into them. But when it comes to Math Genie, there are a lot of resources that um, we can look at in terms of the fact that there is not only GCSE, but there's also A-level revision and there's a lot of exam papers such as in Excel, um, A-level exam papers. And if you want to look at further research into Math Genie, if you want to do something in your free time, you can check out who's Math who runs Maths Genie and other things over here that you can really look at related to Maths Genie. But we're looking at the website overall. And when it comes to the website, there are lots of important things over here, as you guys can tell. A lot of things that can be useful to get to grade nine in GCSE Maths. We do have the GCSE revision tab over here. We do have GCSE um, papers, A-level revision, A-level papers, key stage revision and resources. But we're going to look particularly at the um, GCSE revision in particular, we're going to look at um, the GCSE revision in particular. And when you go into the tab by clicking into the tab, we can get into the um, topics and we got the grade one um, information over here. We got the grade two information, uh, grade three, so on, so forth. If you go all the way down to grade nine, uh, grade eight and nine, pretty much they're together. It's a very, very useful information um, when it comes to Maths Genie. It is very, very important that we make take the most advantage of the GCSC revision segments of Maths Genie websites. We got things such as Edexcel Higher, AQA Foundation, AQA Higher, OCR Foundation, OCR Higher. So if you want to check out Edexcel Higher, um, you can see this is just for the Edexcel May, June 2022 Higher GCSE revision. This is very simple what you guys can do literally. It's, it sorts everything out for you perfectly. If you're going to go to the AQA Foundation, you can go here and go to the AQA. This is just for the AQA Foundation only. As you guys can tell, this is just until grade five. So it's very, very important to take advantage of it. For us, um, when I was taking my GCSEs, I think most students do the Edexcel. That's why it's at the start over here. So most students Edexcel. So I'm going to go with the Edexcel, but the same applies to AQA and OCR. The thing that you will do for here is the fact that you'll go with Edexcel higher. And this is just revision topics slash list for May, June, May, June 2022 exams. If it's 2023, 2024, it's the same thing. There will be something like this just for the specific exams for the particular year. But most of the time, it's going to just be, it doesn't really have to say 2022 here. It could just say May, June exams because there's no change in specification anytime soon. When it comes to the Edexcel Higher, you can go into that. And now we got the Edexcel Higher. And we got important things such as negative numbers, um, exam questions, negative numbers, exam questions, booklet and solutions. If you go back to um, the tab, you can see that from just all of this alone, it was only the negative numbers that was taken out as an important um, factor from the um, Excel um, exams from June and May. You can see that the Mass Genie website does a lot of things by itself. So you can see it just takes that out. It's, that's the only important thing that they assume is important for the grade one parts of um, Mass Genie. And when you go into the negative numbers, you've got videos. It's very, very organized, very well. You can see there's notes at the same time. And this is where I'm going to teach you guys how to make the most out of this. And instead of going to the grade one topic, let's just go for a grade five topic so we can make things easier for ourselves. And at the same time, be able to focus on something very easily. Let's just go with something like gradient of the lines right in the middle. Um, we got finding the gradient of a line and the first thing we're looking at is the video. And in terms of the video, I'm not going to play it here because it's going to get copyrighted claim. Um, you can see from the video that if you keep scrolling around, it's a very well um, taught video teaching you how to do questions in particular. Um, if you go over here, this is for segments, you got over here that's um, um, you got um, an explanation going on regarding what um, the gradient of line is, how to find the gradient of a line. And then you got questions that is being taken place, such as find the gradient of the line that passes through two to five and four to 11. This is something that normally comes up for the gradient of the line question. Um, we, it's a simple free mark question, which normally comes up in the exam. Uh, a lot of students um, are able to get a good free marks in the exam by using literally a formula and making use out of it. This is pretty much a six minute video. And if you go from the videos tab and you can just go to the gradient practice, you click this, then there's a lot of good questions here. It's basically finding the gradient of the line that passes through the coordinates. This one, this one, this one, this one. 
etc. Because when it comes to um, this, this is basically you can assume it as the textbook exercise. The thing that we have to realize is that we're now moving from the old way of learning things, now moving into more digital formats. This is pretty much the way you guys have to suggest as it is the textbook exercises. You will see in your textbook exercises, you have question one that you have. 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F. You can see, assume this is 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F. And you go so on so forth. 2, 3, 4, 5. And in a column, pretty, in a row, each row is basically one number. That's the way things are moving on right now. We're making things more simple. And when it comes to maths cheating, we don't need to waste our time getting a textbook, then finding where the particular topic is, then looking for where the questions are, then reading through notes. That's a little bit passive in my opinion. That's why I do not recommend learning from textbooks, or rather you make notes as we watch the videos. When it comes to this, um, um, the video, the video's going on, make sure you take notes. Or you watch it for the first time, and then you watch it again. When it comes to Maths Genie, I think that it is just enough just by itself to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths. Everyone is different, some people just like just using Maths Genie only, I also recommend other websites such as Seneca Learning. Um, that's something where I've done a few videos on how to use Seneca Learning, why you must use Seneca Learning. It's all at the top of the screen in terms of the cards. Um, there will be like pop-ups going on throughout the video suggesting they should check out this video, you should check out that video. Or you can just go into the channel and check all the videos from the channel. Or you can check in the description where I might highlight to check out this video, check out this video as well. Finding the gradient of a line is a is an important topic um, you can make notes as you watch this video for me i really didn't make notes i rather um, took the um, knowledge on but i made sure that i took the knowledge on properly at the end of the day it's knowing the information it's learning the information and making sure that it's into your brain that's an important part some people like to make notes it's good to do active revision some people like to learn passive but at the end of the day whether it's active or passive at the end of the day it has to be in your brain and that's where the mentality video comes in very important the secret mentality video because it's um, um, I explain a lot of important things there's another video that I highly recommend but when it comes to watching um, that video the mentality that you must have is how importantly you can take use of this information and apply it to yourself and that's something that is very very important to get the best out of getting a grade 9 in GCSE maths and when it comes to using the um, video you can watch this video it's very well explained and literally the questions that come up is coming from the video you can show an answer to this question then you can hide an answer to this question obviously this one's going to be zero since so both of them are on um, the y coordinates on three so they're both at the same place on the y-axis so it means that the gradient there's not going to be a gradient of the line it's going to be a straight line so there's not going to be any gradients so the answer is zero so it's pretty easy this one um, and you can hide the answer after as well so you can show all the answers at the same time after you finish marking it will show all the answers at the same time or you can hide the, all the answers at the same time as well it's pretty pretty well um, done from the um, maths genie website so we're going to go back to two steps behind and we can go back to the um, the topic that we we're doing which is gradient of a line when it comes to this we can now look at the exam questions and when it comes to the exam questions the gradient of a line we can go to this and this is where you get the exam questions um, the person from Math Genie itself has stated do not write on the sheets that's something that I recommend what I would recommend when it comes to these exam questions is to print it out unless um, he stated in the uh, notebook um, in the in the exam style questions that's you must you must um, write on the sheet not or you must not write on the sheet then follow what the advice is given take the use of it where you're going to you could pretty much solve this question here since we're just using a formula y to minus y1 over x to minus x1 and that's pretty much easy to do on the paper if you want to it's up to you but it's look one more question it's grade 5 um, this says 5.15 there should be some meaning behind that um, but oh it's suggesting I think the specification but the good questions are here and they got two more questions as well do all these questions and the important part about this is how you, how you make use out of this. And this is where the video where I've done um, how to use exam papers to get grade nine in GCC Maths comes very well into play. Um, do check that video out because it will teach you guys how to put particularly use exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths and specifically use that to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths to a large, large extent. The exam questions are there for you. It's not as you have to 
it's not as if you have to find exam papers you know, it's not like you have to go through websites to find all these stuff the information is there for you these teachers have literally made life a lot easier for you there's all the resources there is available for free as well at the same time for students to access but at the end of the day it's how you use these and that's why i'm doing a particular video on how to use maths genie because as i mentioned at the start of the video everyone has access to maths genie everyone has the opportunity to get grade nine but the difference is how you use maths genie and that's why this video has been made because i have made i have received a grade nine in gcse maths myself i have two students that have got grade nine in gcse maths as well and i have already stated at the start of the video why you should trust me why you should trust my advice because a lot of students do recommend me teaching to others and i'm now taking the opportunity to reach a larger audience and ensure that you guys get a grade nine in gcse maths important thing from here you got one more questions here two more questions here and three more questions over here as well i would recommend you do all the questions if you are able to just do say the first four questions here pretty easily but there's only six questions so you should be able to do these in six minutes which is not a lot of your time then you got um a few two mark questions over here which is um useful to get a grade nine in gcse maths as well and um, when you got these two mark questions a little bit more knowledge um dependent but there is some differences because you got some negative numbers at, involved and at the same time it might be a little bit more difficult to do the calculations you might get answers which are fractions that's why it's a two mark question and then over here this is working backwards given the gradient uh, you have to do a little bit of rearranging you have to do a little bit of changing the subject and you will be able to get the answer for these three things um, because we're working out what the coordinate is so it's basically reversing the question but it's a little bit more of application knowledge because the grade 9 to 1 GCSE system has now changed from more um, simpler ways just to, where you can just memorize a question on how to do it in a particular method but now we're looking at applying your knowledge and that's where the difference is between what your teachers were able to do in terms of their exams and what I was able to do in terms of my exams because I was definitely in your position. I had to apply my knowledge. I, ha I had to suffer like you guys and I exactly know what I'm doing. That's why people recommend me over the other students, over the other teachers because I've been through what you guys have been through and I've gone through pretty, pretty good tricks in using websites and using the best out of um, resources available. And when it comes to Maths Genie, this is another one which I recommend to a large, large extent as well. Going back um, to the uh, websites, some do have exam questions. Um, most of them do have exam questions, some do not, like, such as you've got drawing quadratic curves, graphs, but there's an exam question booklet as well. This is where it's, it may seem unnecessary, but if you go to the Gradient of Light exam um, questions booklet, this is very, very useful. Um, you can do these questions at the end of the day. It's the same things as the um, the ones that came up in the ex um, in the exam questions. Exam questions. I think these two are both exactly the same thing. Uh, if you go to exam questions, if you look at the final ones, okay, it's minus two, minus two, four, eight, minus two, minus two, four, eight. So if you go back here and go to the, um, the gradient of a line, so let's just go back to the last question. Is it minus two, minus two, four, eight, minus two, minus two, four, eight? If you want to do an exam booklet format, which will be a little bit more easier since you'll be able to write on the piece of paper and you'll be able to get some practice as an exam question, as if, as if you're doing an exam, you can print this out, which is very easy for you guys to do. Um, Double-sided will be useful, so you don't have to waste some paper. But at the same time, if you're really keen on not wasting paper, then you do have the exam questions like this where you can just literally do the questions in your book you don't have to do it on an exam booklet but depending on your guys's need do you want to write on a piece of paper or do you want to write on the actual booklets where you can print it's up to you guys nowadays you can now even um, write it on your ipad you can d download it to your ipad and um, as a pdf and be able to mark use markup or some other software to write with your um, interactive pen there's a lot of useful things, but this is the way I would recommend to use Maths Genie to get a grade down in GCSE Maths. When it comes to the solutions, um, we have got over here, the solutions are perfect, perfectly done for you guys. It tells you number three, there's only one more question, it gives you three, but I'm telling you guys how to use mark schemes in that video that I highly, highly recommend. I would urge you to watch that video before you do these exam style questions, how to use the video is called how to use exam papers to get a grade nine in GCSE maths. Make sure you use watch that video first before you watch this video because it will help you get a grade nine in GCSE maths. And look, the workout, if there's a two mark question, he's done the working out for you, very nicely done for you guys. Very simply, he didn't skip any steps 
steps simply Ike just went from a nine over he just went from 10 minus one and just written three but he has purposely put the nine over three for you guys to understand so the way to, i tell you guys to use the mark scheme is something that i recommend in that video i urge you guys to watch that video to a large large extent look it's very very nicely done from the person that is running maths genie this is the GCSE revision tab, and now we're just looking at the GCSE papers tab. This is the same thing when it comes back when we look at look back at the GCSE revision. This is everything. Um, sometimes, such as the velocity time graphs, you don't need it in a um, in just the questions because you need to use the graph itself. You have to draw, um, find the coordinates. You have to use um, certain. Uh, you have to be able to sketch. You have to be able to um, do certain things. Obviously, there's not going to be exam questions in that format, but most all of them are in exam questions booklet. It's not a lot of work for you guys. It's just exam exam questions, one booklet, one video to watch and to do one uh, and to mark it and that shouldn't take you more than the hour in my opinion in the most it should take you you should watch a video make some notes as you watch the video and maybe watch it one or two times depending on if you guys understand it or not test yourself using the exam style questions and check out the solutions to get a grade 9 in GCSE maths and the video that I mentioned time and time again about how to use exam papers please watch that video um, that's important watch that video before you watch this video if, after you watch this video make sure you watch that video and that will help you get a grade 9 in GCSE maths because you can make the most efficient use out of it and speaking of exam papers speaking of past papers we do have the GCSE papers over here and this is for the exams particular to in particular to the edexcel website this is for edexcel itself um, but if you want to check out the paper that i was able to do um which i assume is the june 2018 paper yep i think this is the paper that i was able to do i do think so i think this is foundation or oh, maybe it was or maybe it was if i go to the last question i will be able to remember myself yes i think this is the question that paper that i was able to do the exam questions are here and for for this part in particular if you go to in the june 2018 paper and then we go to the answers this is worked out solutions um, because sometimes it might be hard to look at the Excel mark scheme but in terms of Mass Genie he has properly done this for you guys in terms of how to work this question paper out um, perfectly um, and get that opportunity to get a grade 9 in GCC Maths and as I said watch that video that I mentioned about how to use exam papers to get a grade 9 in GCC Maths and when it comes to the final parts, there's also a video where you can watch to look at the particular topic. We're going to look at a video and he's going to teach you guys how to um, use, he will do the work out for you. And he's teaching you guys what is going through his mindset as things are going on. I remember watching these videos back in the days as well when I was studying you guys and it was very, very um, useful to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths. Ensure that you make the most out of it, ensure that you learn the most out of it and ensure that you take the most out of it in my opinion and make the most out of getting a grade down in GCSE Maths. Overall, it's a very, very useful video in terms of how to use uh, Maths Genie to get a grade down in GCSE Maths. It's something that you can use to get a grade down in GCSE Maths very, very easily. And it's something that I recommend to a large, large extent. Make sure you use this to the best of your ability. Make sure you take the most out of this to your best of your ability. And when it comes to um, the websites, um, make sure you use it to the ways I've taught you guys to use it, make sure you guys use it in the format that I've taught you guys because the Maths Genie website is highly, highly recommended. Maybe the only downside about Maths Genie is the fact that there's not enough, question, enough, not enough question, questions. Um, there are other websites that I recommended the five best websites to use. Um, make sure you check those videos out as well. Even one of the websites, there are just questions, questions, questions. That's something that is important for GCC Maths, something that I mentioned in the Secret Mentality video. So it's something that you may take the most out of, make the most out of and get the opportunity to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths. And hopefully this video has been very, very useful in terms of how to use Maths Genie in particular to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths. If you enjoyed this video, I also urge you guys to check out my next video, which is how to use Quizlet to get a grade 9 in GCSE Maths.